Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm here with my empties video for March and April. I have everything laid out in front of me by category. I have some makeup items, skincare, hair care. I have body care items. I actually have quite a bit of body care items. So that'll be a kind of a fun category to talk through. But anyway, I will get started with my makeup empties. So for the past two months, I've just used up a few makeup items. I haven't been wearing makeup a lot recently. So really haven't gotten through a lot of stuff. Um, but the two items that I did use up include the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And I did really like this mascara. I really like the wand. It's like really short bristles, which I think is just easier to work with. And I really like the Benefit formula. I actually have like a set of Benefit mascaras. It has the Their Real Mascara, which I'm using currently. There's also the Roller Lash Mascara. And then another one of the Bad Gal Bangs. So I'll get to use this again within the near future, like sometime this year. But I do really like their mascaras. And this one I really enjoyed. So that was my first empty. And then the other makeup empty is from Too Faced. It's this powder. This is the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. And this one lasted me for quite a while. Um, I mean, typically I wear makeup every day, not recently, but over the past year or so I wear makeup every day. And this lasted me like well over a year. So it lasted a good amount of time. Um, and I really like the packaging of this. There's little cover for the sifter because sometimes there's not and then the powder sort of gets everywhere but I love that this has little um cover and the packaging super cute and I just like the product in general like beyond the packaging um I do just really like this product so I have since repurchased this but I did use that one up as well so those are both of my makeup empties next for skincare I have a few items two of them are the same item it's the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser in the Creamy Formula. I had one of these in my shower and then one of them at my bathroom sink. And I just happened to use them up at the same time. Um, but I really like this cleanser. It's just a basic cleanser and it's sort of my go-to. I have repurchased this multiple times. I've since repurchased it. Um, I did order it online. I ordered two of them. And I had ordered two of the creamy formula. That's usually my go-to with this one. Um, but I actually had gotten sent a, one of the fo foaming formulas. So I have a creamy and a fo foaming. So basically the point is that I can now try out with the other formula in this. But anyway, I did use these up. And it's a product that I will continue to repurchase. Um, my other two skincare empties are little like deluxe sizes. So I have this from Bosha. This is the Cactus Water Hydrating Cream. This was like a gel. It was like a green gel. Um, it was kind of nice. The one thing with this, so it's like a moisturizer. I like use it in the morning. Um, the formula didn't work well with all of my, like my Benefit Professional. I think it just, it kind of like balled up with it. So I had to use this very, um, like strategically with other makeup items or try to not use this when I was, wearing makeup because it just didn't play well with other products but you know it was it was it was fun to try i'm um, definitely not something i would purchase in the full size but um i didn't dislike the product itself it just didn't work well with other types of products or had to use it very carefully but that i used up i also used up another little moisturizer I have a lot of like travel size moisturizers and skincare. So I've been trying to focus on getting through some of them just so they're not like sitting in my collection unused. Um, but this one is too cool for school. It's the all-in-one egg mellow cream. Um, so it's like a moisturizer. Um, I like this one. This one is a more like basic moisturizer. I It worked well with any sort of makeup or anything. They didn't have the problem of the other one. It's more like lotion-y moisturizer. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Um, probably not getting it in the full size. I really like the Belief moisturizers, both the um, Aqua Balm and the Moisturizing Balm. Those are sort of my go-tos, but um, I liked this one and I, yeah, I cut into it. I, mean, I liked it enough to cut into it. So yeah, I use that up. So I had those two for deluxe sizes. Actually, I guess I have two like, actually just one. One um, skincare like single use little foil packet. This is from the Body Shop and it's the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. 
Um, I haven't tried the Body Shop masks before. I've seen them, um, but it, yeah, I haven't really tried them. So it's kind of nice to have a little like foil packet that I could try out. Um, this one kind of reminded me of if you try the Fresh Rose mask, it's sort of more like a gel formula that has the little rose pieces. It's sort of similar on this one, um, but I, I liked it. I, I tend to like rose scented stuff, so I, I like the experience of using it. But yeah, I don't know if I'd buy this necessarily in the full size, but I did enjoy having a little sample to at least try. So those are my skincare empties. Next I have hair care. So for hair care, I used up a shampoo and conditioner from the same line. This is the Garnier Vertice Pure, Pure Clean Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. It has aloe, it's just like a basic shampoo conditioner. I've since repurchased both of these um, and these are kind of frequent um, staples in my sort of shower, like hair care routine. So I did use up those. And then I do have a hair care like foil packet you know, sample. This is from Diva Curl. It's the Melt into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. It was like a deep conditioning mask. I tend to like to get these type of products as samples because it's not always something I have on hand or buy, but it's nice to, you know, occasionally do like a deep conditioning mask. Um, this particular product, I don't remember specifically anything great about it. Um, so I probably wouldn't buy this particular one, but um, it was kind of fun just trying it out. So there's my hair care empties. Next I have body care. And as I mentioned, I have quite a bit for body care. Um, I am doing a body care use it up. I'm just trying to focus on using up my body care collection this year. I have quite a bit of stuff. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to get through a good amount of things. I guess I'll mention two things quickly Quickly that I'm not really including in my body care um, use it up. But these are my shaving creams. Um, they're both from Gillette. They're the Satin Care Sensitive Skin. So I did use up these. Um, you know, not much to say about them. And then I do have a little perfume sample, which I included in like the body care category. This is the Erin um, Agia Blossom. I feel like I used this up a few months ago. I don't really remember what it smells like. It smells good, but I don't know the notes of it or anything, but I tend to like the Erin um, little perfume. So I did use up that. Um, and then the rest of the stuff is all from my body care use it up. So I'm excited that I was able to get through, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 items. That's pretty exciting. So I did use up two hand creams. Um, I have one from the body shop. It's peppermint candy cane. Now I did cut into these to get all the product. Um, I did like the scent of this. I really love peppermint scented stuff, but really for hand cream, I like something that's not fragrance. I feel like the fragrance ones just really dry out my hands. This one really dried out my hands. So as much as I like the scent, um, it wouldn't be something I'd be looking to repurchase. It just was too drying for my hands. So, um, not the craziest about the actual formula of this. Um, I actually have one from L'Occitane that I used up. This was, um, vanilla bouquet or yeah, vanilla bouquet hand cream. I feel like this one was a little bit better um than the body shop one but still it is like fragrance so not the greatest right now i'm using like a keels hand cream that's not fragranced and i like that one so much more but yeah i did use up this um so those are the hand creams i used up i did use up i have a um like body sugar scrub this is the tree hut lemon blueberry tart shea sugar scrub i really like these um Oh, this one smells so good too. It smells like a poppy seed, or like blueberry muffin, like combined, like really good. Um, but I love their little, I love their scrubs. I feel like they're reasonably priced and you get quite a bit of product. This lasted me quite a few months. Um, but the scrub, some of ones that I've gotten body scrubs from like Bath and Body Works, I feel like they dissolve right away and it's so frustrating. But this one actually is like kind of stays like you can continue like massaging it into your skin until you rinse it off like it, it's a really nice scrub formula so i do really like these i've since repurchased um not this particular scent i have it's like the um lime coconut scent i think it is that i started using but yeah i do um really like these scrubs from tree huts so i did use up that and then i have some Actually, I just have one body wash I used up. 
I tend to not go through body wash that fast compared to lotion. So I have a lot of lotions I used up, but only one little body um, wash or shower gel, and it's this little travel size. This is also from the Body Shop. This is the pink grapefruit. Um, again, I have a lot of like travel size body care. So like stuff that I'm almost finished with, I'm just trying to get through the rest of it, just like so kind of move it out of my collection. But I did use up that. And then for lotions, all sort of creams and lotions, I used up a total of five, which is super exciting. So I have this one from Bath & Body Works. It's the Gingham Body Lotion. I did really like the scent of this. This is notes of blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, and violet and clean musk. So it's sort of like a floral mixed with a fruit. It's really nice. I really, really like the sort of citrusy, with the like floral elements of it. So I did use up that one. Um, I would I would consider repurchasing this one. Um, I tend to go more for the body creams, um, but I, I like using the lotions more in like the morning time. Usually if I shower at night, I wanna use a body cream, like something thicker, but lotions are good for like in the morning if I'm trying to get ready quickly and want something that's gonna sink in really fast and be a little bit lighter in formula. So I do, um, like the body lotions as well. So I did use up that. Um, something else I used up from the body shop is this body yogurt. It's in the set mango. I, as compared to Bath and Body Works, which has lots of like layers and um, different scent notes, the body shop is usually like one scent, but it's very heavily scented. And this is just mango, um, but it's quite strong. But I do really like their scents. If you're just wanting like one thing like very specific. Um, I think the Body Shop does a good job and I like their body yogurts. Again, I kind of use this more in the morning. It does sink in faster. It's not like a very thick formula. It's more like a gel type formula. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy this one, I used that one up. And then I used up three of the Triple Moisture Body Creams from, or I guess Ultra Shea Body Creams is the new name for them, but um, from Bath & Body Works. They're all, holiday like christmas winter scents um i had a twist of peppermint that i used up i did cut into it i always cut into my um body creams because there's like so much product once you cut into it that you can't get otherwise um but twisted peppermint i love it's one i always get near the holidays so i just finished up the last little bit of this at the beginning of march um so i really wasn't using it over the past two months but i did have a, just a little bit left to use up this one has notes of cool peppermint, sugared snow, and fresh balsam. And it's definitely one that I purchase every year around December time, which will definitely be purchased this year as well. But I um, did use up that. And then my two other um, Ultra Shea body creams were both from the Landa Sweets collection. So I had the Bright Lemon Snowdrop, and I did cut into it so you can't see the cute little packaging as much anymore. It's a cute little house is on it. I love the packaging of these. And then the other one I just used up was the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread one again. I'll show you the cute little house packaging on these. But I really like both of these. And I felt like they work for springtime. Like even though the packaging is super like festive and cute and like Christmassy, I feel like the scents worked now as well. They're not super like Christmas specific. So the Bright Lemon Snowdrop, this one has notes of frosted lemon citrus, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla bean. It was a really nice lemon scent, but the lemon with the sort of like vanilla um, aspect of it. it smells so good just smelling it now. And it was really great to actually pair these with this lemon blueberry tart. I love the combination and it worked well with um, both of these lotions, but really like this. Um, and we'll see if they have a similar scent um, come out again. I would consider buying something similar to this lemon set again. Um, yeah, I did really like this. And then I think I even liked more than the lemon was the blueberry, the Santa's blueberry shortbread. This one was so nice. And I was burning the um, blueberry sugar donut candle at the same time, and they definitely are very similar. So it was nice kind of pairing them together. But this one has notes of baked blueberry, crumbled shortcake, and whipped cream. And it's definitely like a bakery blueberry. It's it's really, really nice. So I would 
definitely try to find something like this again. I did really, really like that. So those are the like lotion and body creams I went through. Then I did go through some, some hand soaps. I actually went through all of my like, it was the collection last spring around this time. It was like the city um, hand soaps. And I actually had all five of them from last year. And I used them all up um, in April. So let me just kind of go through them. They're the ones that look like this. I think they're so cute. And I was trying to like save them and use them occasionally, but I just sort of was like, let me just get through them. There's no point of like saving if I just have like a little bit left, like let me just finish these up. Um, but I love the illustrations on them. I think they're so cute. But this is the Paris one. This is Rose Water and Ivy. So Rose Water and Ivy is Soft Rose Petals, Rain Kiss Ivy, and Spring Musk. I think this is a great spring scent. I do have another not of this packaging, it's rose water and ivy and another packaging that I'm using currently and I love having that scent in the springtime. Um, but these I was more excited for the actual packaging versus the scents. Um, but rose water and ivy is a scent that I do really enjoy. But that's the packaging of this one, super cute. And then I used up the California one. This is in the scent Endless Weekend. Again, I love the artwork on this. Endless Weekend is White Heart Hydrangea, Violet Blossom, Sparkling Citrus. So again, they're sort of taking the citrus with a floral note, sort of like gingham. Not quite the same though. Um, I think this is a good one for like a summertime scent, but it, it, was, it was good in April. I enjoyed it, so I did use up that. Then I had the Hawaii one in Coconut Colada. Again, this is more of a summer type scent, but I, I liked using it in April. Again, really cute packaging on artwork. This one has notes of creamy coconut, frozen lemon, and vanilla musk. Then I used up um, champagne toast for New York City. I did like that sort of combination um, of using champagne toast for New York City, but I love the packaging on this one. It's so, so cute. Um, but this one has bubbly, no, it's a bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. I love Champagne Toast is great as, I love it as a candle. It's really good in body care as well. So um, yeah, one of my favorite scents that I do um, go back to and definitely will repurchase in a hand soap again at some point. But that was the New York City one. And then finally I had the London one. I think this one's the cutest of all of them. Um, and this is no, this is um, white tea and sage, so I love anything tea themed. But this has notes of fresh tea, lemon, and herbs, and definitely would repurchase this scent again as well. And I just love how cute the packaging is. So I'm kind of sad that I used those all up, but I am trying to get through things, and it didn't make sense to kind of keep them around with just a little bit of product left. So um, I did get through all of those. So that was all my body care that I used up. And then my final category is just miscellaneous. And all I have for that is just the thing of the um, Target up and up cotton round. So not super exciting, but I thought I'd mention that as well. So that's everything for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.